All right, we're gonna go collect our. I totally just bought a hanger. I bought a hanger for like a hundred dollars. That's not what I wanted. I hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Ready for another action-packed video, ladies and gentlemen. Happy belated Halloween. I know it's the day after uh, that you guys are watching this. Hope you guys had an absolutely fantastic Halloween. I, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. We might talk about it a little bit today. But we're going to play a brand new game that just got added to the store. Uh, I actually don't know when. It was created a long time ago. Over a year ago. It was updated today. And uh, all of a sudden there's 11,000 people playing. And I've never really seen this game before. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play Game Development Tycoon. Uh, I wish it was a little bit different. But it is a very basic... Uh, to oh, actually maybe it's not... Okay, I was expecting just a big floor to start working on, like with the conveyor belts and stuff like that. But maybe not yet. Maybe not. All right, uh, start work. It says click your keyboard to start working. All right, we're going to start working a bit. All right, you can see that the more I type, the more like random coding stuff gets added to a code, I guess. I'm not quite sure. All right, wait, it says level up to plus $20. I don't know what that means. I'm so confused. Again, not quite sure what we're supposed to be doing. All right, you can see in the top corner, I thought it would say over here what my uh, cash is, but I actually don't have any cash. Well, I have 85 cash, actually. It just started counting as some cash. Uh, we are going to go and buy something right now. All right, hold on. So we got tree, we got sign, we got bench. Path, tree, bench, buy first floor, 25. Okay, we're going to buy this for 25 bucks. We will buy a safe for 10. Okay, click to use safe. Uh, okay, so apparently we can deposit cash. Um, again, not quite sure, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot of stuff inside this game. All right, we'll buy the table. Not enough cash. We like to purchase some. Uh, no, thank you. So we got a vending machine and a server room for 150. I think that's what I want. I think I want to get the server room up and running. All right, hold on. It says there's not enough cash for that. We will uh, we'll just write a few more lines of code, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back. All right, so I'm actually starting to realize what's going on here. So it says level three, we're income per line. So every line of code that we write, we get $6. Now, uh, lines left. After we type 20 lines of code, we go up one level and we also go up in income per line. So it's pretty cool. I'll probably grind out just to the fact that we get uh, level five and then I'll cut back. All right, here we go. We're right in the green line. The green lines are the good lines, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can see that boom we are level 25 we now get eight dollars per line what oh we just bought it we just bought something by accident uh oh uh, we still have 245 though that's not too bad all right let's buy a server room because apparently there is some like automated cash making stuff which is what i want to get into that's what this side is better business income there's servers there's programming design sound and marketing so i'm pretty sure all of these can kind of uh do stuff on their own without uh, uh, buy a golden server. All right, we'll do that. Is that gonna cost Robux? Of course it is. Of course it is. It, everything always costs Robux, ladies and gentlemen. All of these games are, they're so pay to win. Some of them are absolutely terrible, saying that like, if I paid $1,000 uh, Canadian or US right now, I wouldn't have to play this game at all because I could buy a bunch of stacks of 5,000. I could buy the Ultra VIP. I could buy so much stuff that makes it absolutely like, you just don't even play it at all. They're so greedy and stuff. And I'm just surprised that nobody talks about it in the Roblox community. Just because some of the games are, I mean, they have games that literally just redirect and say, free Robux if you download apps. Like, that's insane. But uh, that's something that Roblox will probably end up fixing in the future. Their games and how valid a lot of the games are. Because a lot of games come in for like a day or two and then they're gone. Because uh, people realize that they're just terrible, terrible games. Alright, we're above $200 now. We're going to make sure we try to get out of here without uh, buying some stuff. Because we accidentally bought, uh, bought a bunch of stuff last time. Uh, what is this? $200. Boom. We got that. Active. Now, server 225, uh, we get a dollar. Okay, so now um, it's like a, a dollar a second, a dollar every couple seconds, but there is some AFK cash that we can now be gaining. Pretty cool, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, we're going to go collect our... I totally just bought a hanger. I bought a hanger for like $100. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all right. 
that is all right. You guys can see that uh, we have eight dollars from our servers to collect, just like that. So you can, like I said, you can get some servers going and a bunch of servers. Obviously, there's some programming stuff, there's some marketing stuff, some sound stuff. I'm actually pretty, pretty excited to see what this has in store for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I might act. Wait, supervisor, what's the supervisor do? Hire a supervisor for thirty dollars for two minutes. This worker helps fix a uh, programmer's fix issues. I don't think so. I think we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Buy chair for oh, hold on, buy chair for forty dollars. Uh, by per or by computer for 125. We might have to do that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're over 217 dollars now. I don't know why it's not collecting my cash anymore. A little confused on that. Uh, we're gonna go down and see if there's anything. Do I gotta turn it back on? Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I have to turn the server back on. Of course, because servers have on states and off states, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty simple. Uh, we'll buy this for 125. Uh, programmer, hire programmer $15 for two minutes. This worker uses the PC to generate some income. All right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're paying him 15 though. I don't know how much he's gonna, wait, we'll upgrade PC for 250. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, that is so, so expensive. So as long as this guy makes more than $30 in two minutes, I'm pretty sure I should profit some cash from it. And uh, you can upgrade a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure you can upgrade the programmer himself. You can upgrade the computer. You can get more than one of these. So now we've got two of them, though. You can see that we've got the servers up and running. We got a little bit of programming stuff done. There's also design, sound, and marketing, which there's a bunch of other stuff to do. And actually, I'm really, really enjoying this game right now. So we are going to deposit our all of our cash. Not enough cash. Uh, hold on. Can we deposit 70 then? Deposit $70 cash. Now we only have $7 left. I think I am going to end the video off here. Hopefully it stays, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully uh, the money in here stays so I can actually pick this up again. Because I would like to live stream this game. This could be a game that we could play for at least an hour or two. Try to get as many people as we can working on it. You can see that we've already made $30. So it's definitely worth it, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely, definitely worth it. We're actually going to go and see this Dean guy quickly. Just because this guy is an absolute legend. And I feel like uh, he knows what's going on. We can learn from him. And uh, we'll just take a peek. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dean Steve 99 Alright, so you guys can see that this guy is level 30. He makes $45 per line. He has 88 lines left to do. I'm pretty sure he probably just has an auto clicker on. Just because it is that easy. And I could, I could walk and go to school and stuff like that. And leave this game up and running. I assume that's what he has up and running. Um, Alright, come up here though. Uh, he's got some cash in the safe. Program is waiting to be paid $15. Okay, okay, cool. You can see uh, air from PC. All right, so there's a programmer right here. He's doing some crazy, crazy stuff. I don't, I'm actually not sure what this guy is. He might be like a manager or something like that. This guy probably has a full out, the best PC that you can build with the fastest programmer. He's basically got Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, whatever you want to call it. That man is on the keyboard just going as hard as he can. Uh, you come down here, he's got two servers. He also has uh, a server manager to make up all the or to make sure all the servers stay, and uh, you can tell he's got seventy thousand dollars and he's just raking in the cash right now. Absolutely super cool. The guy is dedicated. Let's see what he's on right now. He has sixty lines left, so he actually wrote twenty lines of code while we were just checking out his place. Pretty cool, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty friggin' cool. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, definitely be sure to drop a like on the video and a comment. Tell me what you guys want me to uh, play in the future. Drop a like and tell me if you guys want to see me play this game again, because I actually do want to play this game again. It looks really cool, and there's a lot of stuff that we could be doing in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.